right, so starting from RE5, I'm pretty sure this is the, the gold edition. Is this the file? Okay, yeah. Oh, that's that's nice. I was just thinking about this the other day. It really dark with the last game I had. Nice. Uh, it's really good. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to do some configuring. Okay, finished. Game settings. <clears throat> Let's check this out for everybody who wants to explore. Yeah, I'll keep all that. Is the tutorial stuff? I don't know that I need. Audio's fine. System settings. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Screen settings. Yep. Start it. Oh wow, look at this. Bonus features. Purchase special items with your points. Settings. I said special. Oh. <clears throat> oh yeah, it, this game it just lets you go to the shop all the time. Like at the end of the level, or if you die. Did I click this? No, I didn't. I wonder what this is. I did not see this. The other version I've got. There you go. Ladies and gents. The challenge breeds excellence. Slight struggles. Enjoy the journey. Well, I appreciate the story mode. They really should call it story mode because people are legitimately confused about easy mode meaning story mode. I mean, if they don't label it that way, there's all this ring like you wouldn't believe. I mean, okay, I got to add this in a video here, so I'm just going to throw it in now. In the games of the past, it was much harder to cheat and there wasn't a lot of flexibility with stuff. Game. So if they designed the game a certain way with no cheats, everyone had to play that game that way. And there's a certain genre of games that people like to brag about. And they, they're, being that you couldn't cheat or do anything weird like that, you know, there was a certain goading of social behaviors and stuff towards them and some of it unduly because of the restrictions but they want that back and that's why they're so angry about an easy mode or people using trainers to to cheat it's like i don't know i i do i do all i do not concede that they have a valid point they should have appreciated the ride while they had it but i do get that um devs want to have a certain vision so they don't put an easy mode in there um but at the same time if the reaction from people is like i don't care about this game because it's too hard or something um or there's some game mechanic they don't like i mean you're just you're just gonna get people dropping off which is definitely what happens but um yeah a lot of the games like that though i just don't care about them like if they're they're not my cup of tea. I'm not going back to anything. Anyways, uh, I'm not trying. Co-op settings was rogue. Do not allow anyone to join your game. Okay, I don't want that. I want a computer. Is it gonna do the computer thing? All right, I'll mute this.
happened to Shat here? We secured the underground route to the coordinates. Should have seen it coming. It didn't take long after the fall of the Umbrella Corporation for their bioweapons to end up in the hands of terrorists. A new era of bioterrorism descended upon vulnerable countries, shifting the balance of power throughout the region. People in the destabilized areas soon feared another incident like Raccoon City was inevitable. As panic spread, governments of the world turned to the Global Pharmaceutical Consortium which formed the anti-terrorism unit, BSAA. Operatives of the BSAA were sent to infiltrate and neutralize bioterrorist hotspots, restoring safety and stability to various regions around the globe. Welcome to Africa. My name is Sheva Alamar. Chris Redfield. Your reputation precedes you, Mr. Redfield. It's an honor. Just Chris, thanks. So you'll be accompanying me to the destination? Yes. Tensions are running high ever since the change in government. I'll bet. Intel says it's a haven for terrorists now. And I'm not going to be happy to see an American. BSAA or not. That's why I'm your partner. I'll put them at ease. Well, I'm sure you'll do just fine. Casualties continue to mount over the long years I've struggled. More and more, I find myself wondering if it's all worth fighting for. Maybe one day, I'll find out. Hey, hey! You don't have to get touchy. Let's go. There is one thing I do know. I have a job to do, and I'm gonna see it through. Here. Coming in loud and clear, Kirk. Yes, we read you. Well, how do I switch? There's a black market weapons deal going down in Kijuju. That's where Irving will be. The Alpha team has already infiltrated the area, and you will be going in as backup. Rendezvous with your contact at the butcher's shop. You can gear up and get briefed on the mission there. Watch your backs. Roger that. Copy. Over and out. Weapons deal in the black market. It looks Italian. Let me look around here the first time I went through. I didn't actually play this game fully, but uh, do some exploring now.
Oh, my CPU isn't clicking either. Oh, I can run. Thought it was only letting me walk there. Colors look off on like everything. This is reminding me of Gears of War 1. It was like a yellow game, and I was like, got it. Not necessarily. Some people might think America has its own dark side. That doesn't sound very patriotic. I'm just a realist. It's a capitalist society. Not everyone is cut out for that kind of constant pressure. Sure, there are opportunities to be had, but at what price? You gain, someone else loses. You don't sound like any American I've ever met. That's the great thing about us Americans. We're all different. Except you're the only one that said that, and all the others didn't, so then they're all alike in that way. Everybody's gone. Ermagerd. Yeah, you know. Ah, Chris Redfield. Go around to the side door. Chris, this way. I, I can't give command yet. Oh, this way. But maybe because of the new government, the people around here are a little on edge. You should do what you came here to do and go home. Yeah, they really roll out the red carpet for us Americans. I have your weapons for you here. Jack. Already started. Oh my gosh, look at my weapon! But you can't grab that, huh? Oh yeah. Destination coordinates? Town squares up ahead. Go through there. Alpha team's waiting at the deal location. Good. What do you know about Ouroboros? Mostly just rumors. Something about visions of a doomsday project. Doomsday sounds about right, and apparently it is normal. You're kidding, right? You must find a man named Erbeck. He is our only lead. Yeah. 
I was hoping to play this with somebody, but it smells rancid. It must be the heat that does it. Apparently that meat is still very edible, by the way. I think it's sick of you. Oh, how does that work? Okay, yeah, I think I did a bunch of this here. Read all this. Yeah, oh, I want to comment too. So, like, I bought this game right when it first came out for the PC. PS3, and this menu system was intolerable. I made it to like the second stage or whatever where you're in that warehouse looking place, and I just gave up. I'm like, dude, this is ridiculous. With the, I don't even remember how horrendous it was, but I mean, it is just. There's still problems with it, with the PC version, but it is so much better, and I can actually play the game now. And nobody ever mentioned that, but like that has to be the complaint because everyone's like, oh, I hate the game, but they're not really saying why. And the only thing I can think of is that it's a bunch of people who jumped on the I hate RE4 because the other games played differently. Now, I discovered through someone I know personally who told me for years, they had played all of the main line Resident Evil games. We started playing this game, and all of a sudden it was, oh, no, 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 I didn't, uh, I forget how it all went down. Happens, we stick together. But, don't worry, I may not be as big as you, but I can still hold my own. I don't remember how it all started going downhill, but it eventually wound up with, oh, no, no, no I actually just watched my grandma play all the games, and... Oh, I, I, I played, I played RE4, RE4 on VR, and I was like, wait a minute, what? He said, I, he said, he definitely said he played all the games, and he was not confessing otherwise prior to, because we were getting into this game, and he was asking all these questions about stuff, I'm like, this is in the normal Resident Evil games, how do you not know? I mean, it was stuff, it was all kinds of stuff, like the latest ones were like, how to load grenades into the grenade launcher and that there are different types of grenades you like had no idea i'm like yeah you've never played a resident evil game and then it and then it all distilled down to oh but i i, I played the, the the first game and then it was like oh no, no no i didn't play that game but then he did oh and then oh i just played through most of resident evil 4 but it's like how do you know what most is if you didn't finish it and you don't know what the end is and i'm suspect because you already lied about the other stuff and then you didn't you know so and then he was asking about um Something something that made it obvious that he did not even play through a chunk of Resident Evil 4. I'm like, okay, so point is Take it. Okay. The point is that I think a lot of these people complaining about Resident Evil 4 never played any of the games. They're on some bandwagon that they hopped on for reasons I don't think they even know. It's some social acceptance thing. Yeah, and then it boils all the way down to, oh, but I read about the Resident Evil game. That's what it was as we started. But I, oh, I, I played RE1 Classic, but I read about all the other games. So I know what it's like. I was like, you are wrong. Resident Evil 4 is one of the best games of all time, which definitely entails that it's better than... which definitely entails that it's the best of the games too and just everything that he was saying over the years about it it was just repeating stuff that was on my wall all over the shoulder so bad he didn't even play the game something about vr but i'm like vr is its own thing and i don't think it's that bad either and you have nothing to compare it with because you didn't even play the other games. How did? And also, you didn't even know about the different types of grenades and how do you, how you load them into the grenade launcher. You just click combine. Yeah, no clue. I'm sitting there like, okay. Um, so you must have not watched closely when your grandma played through. And I'm sitting. Oh, when I read about him online, how did you like? So you didn't know about the gameplay. 
because clearly you said all that stuff that you, you didn't know how the game worked. So what did you read about? And you're you're specifically comparing the gameplay between the games, but you don't know that. It's like this is getting weird. Like it's just a weird lie to tell. It's like you're definitely lying, and this is just getting strange. Like I, I don't. I, Stop lying. Like, I, I know you didn't play any of the games. I don't know why you're saying you what you did. I think it's like, got something to prove. Look, I got gamer cred, and I played through Witcher 3. Didn't even know about crafting. Didn't do any of the crafting, as the phrase is in it. Like, okay. So there's a lot of, uh, there's an animal crisis. So, there's a scene ceremony. So, there's a, I think a lot of that is going on in the gaming field, and what's weird is <sighs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. It it seems to me that people are buying video games and just plowing through them. They're buying it because they were told to consume product. They don't even, like, absorb the game they're playing, because I'll talk to some people about games that they say they've played all the way through, and they don't really have any substantial commentary or anything. Writing is erratic. All outsiders will receive the Blade of Punishment. We will bless them with a sacred death. We will release them from their bond of wickedness. But yeah, I, like, when I saw that, I was like, okay, that's what I'm reading online when people are complaining about games or praising them. I mean, because, well, back to this one person in particular, they will praise stuff, which is a positive affirmation type of deal. Okay. That's, that doesn't really mean much. Building. Happy to be consuming product, bro. <sighs> Sorry, well deserved. Like, I mean, I, I had to say all that because that is just a very strange phenomenon that I would never have guessed was going on. But I think that not only got one example in concrete in real life, but it matches so much of what I'm seeing. And I heard accusations of people not playing video games. They just read about them. And that person just said that. So I think that's good. for Because anybody who does that, you know, I think that needs to be out in the open. And these people need to be, like, known about. Shoot him, this is a zombie game, dude. Start blasting right away. What the hell just happened? Was it? They didn't move like any zombies I've ever seen. Yeah. Oh, no. Man. Crap, I didn't see what that mouse... I'll check the video later. Because I couldn't get the combos working. Like, I think you might have to shoot him in the arm in particular, and then it'll go through a phase. But if you shoot him just in the face, it does the final blow immediately. 
But I couldn't I could never get a combo to go off because it knocks him back too. So everybody knows, um, this is my, well, I didn't play through the game fully, but I was playing through over the weekend and I'm coming back to it now. Because the person I was playing with didn't want me to record, so. I just did. Okay, yeah, we got a. Well, I guess we're stuck in here. Ooh, yes, sir. There has to be a way out of here. <clears throat> well, we should um, keep moving. They'll find us soon. What is her accent? Like, I don't, I don't know who this character is. I've never seen Sheva. We just met her here. <clears throat> oh man, my eye, my eyeball is burning. Ah. Turn this up there. Oh cool. All right, I can give stuff. Check the old mini map. Oh no, we're right back here. Okay, I won't explore your map no more. Okay. Oh yeah, and another thing about that person I was playing with. They thought this was like, okay, this is a survival horror. But we need to get to that house. We'll have a better chance of fighting them from there. Okay, this is the house. Come in, Kirk. They thought the locals were hostile and we had to use force. We don't have any contingency plans for this situation, do we, Kirk? Roger on the locals. Your orders still stand. What does that mean? Was HQ expecting this? Are they gonna break through? I don't know if they get through that. But they thought this was like Dying Light or uh, Dead Island where you have to run past some of the zombies. I'm like, that's not generally how that works in Resident Evil. And most of the Resident Evil games, you have enough ammo to kill every single zombie. Unless there's an obvious situation where they... Because I know he's going to try to, like, say, Oh, I couldn't kill all these guys in this... I know which game he's going to say it about, too. Oh, I couldn't kill them all here. Oh, you were wrong, Anon. Oh, I try to make a huge deal of it. So that, oh, I have to say that I'm wrong. It's like, no. There are times when you can't. But... You, you can later. I think you can come back to some of those sections, and then on your second playthrough, you're definitely going to be able to kill them all. But um, they weren't having that. I, I know they're not going to have that. They're going to try to. I don't. I don't know what they're going to try to do. Except they're going to say that. Oh, they're going to try to like get at that I haven't played. I don't know what I'm talking about. Like because they don't. But this is, this is what is going on here. Brain is a large brain, or is that intestine? It's too big of a brain. It's a giant axe. Don't think it's been used on trees. Couldn't possibly know that. But um, yeah, I was like, no, you can kill the zombies, and so. Internal organs don't stay don't stay on the inside here, but um, yeah. And so like he's running past stuff or skipping whole areas, and I'm like, geez, man, did she break that open? Go, Roger. Oh, yeah. Come on. Okay. Use this. Come on. Roger. Go! Okay. Go! Roger. So, oh, she actually goes out and does stuff then. Come on! Roger. 
Sergeant. Didn't give me any of the other commands. Yeah, so I mean, like, we were missing items and loot and stuff. I'm like, oh my god. Oh no, and then we run a boss. Oh no, I don't, I don't think you're supposed to kill it. I think you're supposed to run past it. I was like, dude, that's definitely not the case. What it's going to do is give you a large reward for killing it. But he ran out of the map and triggered the cutscene. You know, it died anyways, see, in the cutscene. I'm like, that's the same as just closing the door behind you. It just shows you a cutscene and then an and then a little prop of a dead boss there. I'm like, that. that's the same thing as just leaving the, the fucking map. And um, so um, I looked it up like immediately after just to remove all that doubt. And sure enough, it was like a 10,000 uh, reward for that. So, yeah, I mean, stop like, tri and you know, this is like permanent damage being done. So... And then what really did it in was he was taking all the weapons and stuff that he didn't pick up, and I couldn't get, and I couldn't like keep up with what the game was throwing at us because my weapons were outdated and stuff like that, or I, I didn't have enough um, currency to like sell and then buy and then upgrade again. <clears throat> that is getting ridiculous. <clears throat> Yeah, and you know what's <clears throat> really conspicuous, like, I, I want to reiterate that nobody said what they disliked about this game. It was always just met with an ug. And I'm like, okay, uh, I'm starting to wonder about Resident Evil 6. I heard that was a total turd fest. Now, I did watch the... Oh, well, continue in a second. This would be fun. Um, but what I will say, like, I watched, um... <clears throat> I watched the first two and a half hours of Resident Evil 7's gameplay, and it looked incredibly boring, so, um, uh, that one, I, I mean, maybe I'll be in a mood to play, but, uh, but we'll see about that, because... into me. Okay. Uh, well, they got in.
Big guy, yeah, yeah, big guys here. Yeah. yeah, there was a thing going on here to do. Maybe we gotta kill that big guy. Hear that, or he didn't die. He just like dropped mid flight. Oh my gosh, we gotta get going. Oh, hey. Oh, I knew we were missing something. Are they? Oh, God. That big guy just destroyed that? He did. Oh, he's coming through. Where am I? Oh my god, no, 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 no. Here's my machine. Where's that machine gun thing I just picked up? Well, that didn't count. You hit him? Crap. Hit me instead. Here, oh, jeez. Where did that guy go? Door. Wait, wait, wait. Do we get to still kill them? I was trying to do that there. Okay, uh. I hope we can. 
get all that stuff. It doesn't let you do it. Dang it. Dang it. All right, I'm going to break this up into segments. It's getting a little long. Catch you all in the next one.